Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe. At your home place or residence where you live. Inshallah. Ameen. So, mommy. This is your history geography subject of class 8. And I'm your teacher, Ms. Sobia Nas, from the smart school, Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan campuses and Johar campus. Today we will discuss chapter 3 of your geography section major climatic regions of the world. Before starting discussion about this chapter I want to tell you this important thing that why we study history and geography. <clears throat> we study history and geography because we have to know about the world scenario in terms of ge geography in terms of history and everything by knowing the geography of all the countries or neighboring countries whatever you call it or by or of your own country and by knowing the history of the world that what had previously uh, what has been done previously and how rulers rule their dynasties in the previous era this will help you to come up with the solution regarding some of the major things which occur to you or to your society or your country. Now let's start discussion. First, if our world were a plain smooth ball of rock or water, the climate would be simple or around the equator. But Earth has land, ocean, mountain, plains. Because of these and ocean, land, ocean, mountain, plains, <clears throat> we have different kind of soils so that the climate are very complicated pattern. Because according to the places, climate vary. But in spite of local differences, the general tendency is for land near the equator. Now, let's start discussion of the first topic or heading of your chapter is monsoon climate the tropical monsoon climate experiences abundant rainfall like that of the tropical rainforest climate but it is concentrated in the high sun season that means it's observed in a high sun season being located near the equator you know the areas who are uh, located near the who are located near the equator the tropical monsoon climate experiences or uh, this tropical monsoon climate always experiences warm temperature throughout the year now what is tropical monsoon type of climate tropical monsoon climate is the intermediate climate between the wet or tropical rainforest climate and the drier in the essence, a tropical monsoon climates tend to either see more rainfall than a tropical savanna climate or have less pro <coughs> pronounced dry season. What is the climate in the rainy season? Relief comes with the monsoon temperatures are around 35 degrees centigrade, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, but humidity is very high. Nights are around 27 degrees centigrade, 81 degree Fahrenheit most of the rainfall occurs in this season and the rain causes several severe floods the sun is often occl <clears throat> occluded during the monsoon season basically what season is associated with the monsoon a monsoon is a seasonal change in the direction of a prevailing prevailing or the strongest winds of a region. Monsoon cause wet and dry season throughout much of the tropics. Monsoon are most often associated with the Indian Ocean. Monsoons are always low from cold to warm regions. Now reason what cause a monsoon climate? The primary cause of monsoon is difference between annual temperature trends over land and sea. This low pressure region sees continuous rise of moist wind from the sea surface to the upper layer of the atmosphere. 
where the cooling means the air can no longer hold so much moisture resulting in precipitation now i hope you all are cleared with this heading let's come to your next heading that is mediterranean climate <clears throat> what are uh, mediterranean climate basically a mediterranean climate or dry summer climate is characterized by dry summer and mild wet winters mediterranean climate zones are typically located along the west western sides of the continent between roughly 32 30 and 45 degree north and south of the equator Basically, Mediterranean climate major climate top of Köppen classification characterized by hot, dry summer, cool, wet areas, winters, sorry, and located between about thirty and forty-five latitude north and south of the equator. Now, where are the, the Mediterranean climate located? It is generally accepted that the Mediterranean climate occurs in southern and southwestern Australia. Central, Central Chile, Coastal California, the Western Cape of South Africa, and around the Mediterranean basin. Basin. <clears throat> Now, what is the average temperature of Mediterranean climate? Winter temperatures are usually between thirty and sixty-five degrees. Summer months all average above fifty degrees. the warmest month average about 72 degrees the cause of this climate is directly related to large bodies of water such as mediterranean sea and ocean currents <clears throat> now what are the five mediterranean climates mediterranean type ecosystems with their characteristics and unique climate regime of mild wet winters and warm and dry summers occur in just five regions of the world california central chile mediterranean basin and all that what is the mediterranean why is the mediterranean climate important mediterranean climate is very pleasant climate with warm dry summer and cool mild winter mild winters the climate climate's most important cause is the large bodies of water near the land in mediterranean is only found along the coast <clears throat> now let's come to your next heading that is tundra in physical geography Tundra is type of biome where the tree growth is tree <coughs> growth is hindered by low temperature and short growing seasons. The term tundra comes from Russian word from the Kedlin Sami word. The word tundra derives from the Finnish word tundra meaning barren or treeless hill instead the tundra has patchy low to brown vegetation consisting of small shrubs grasses mosses sedges and lichens uh, all which are better adapted to withstand tundra condition The tundra climate is a traditional climate between the subarctic and ice cap climates. Polar climates like that, the tundra are correct. Like the tundra, tundra are characteristic by the very cold temperature and generally dry condition. Temperatures never rise above ten degree Celsius, fifty degree Fahrenheit during the summer. <clears throat> is tundra a desert? Desert is a dire. Driest biome on Earth. It receives very less rainfall, which is usually less than twenty-five centimeter in a year. A desert biome can be of four types: hot, dry, semi-arid, <clears throat> coastal, and cold. 
but tundra it is a biome with snow covered land it but desert it is a dry biome that can have sandy or icy land where are tundra located the tundra is a treeless polar desert found in the highest altitude in the polar regions primarily in alaska canada russia greenland iceland and scandinavia <clears throat> scandinavia as well as sub antarctic islands what are the five interesting facts about tundra the word tundra comes from finnish word tunturi which means treeless plain or barren land i have told you before very it's a very fragile biome that is shrinking as the per, permafrost frost melt lemming are <coughs> lemmings are small mammals that burrow under the snow to eat grasses and moss during the winter now let's come to your next heading that is equatorial climate they are hot and wet all year round this create a humid climate the annual rainfall is high as it rains almost every day the temperature are constant all year around the temperature range is usually only a few degree there are so there are no reasons for this <clears throat> no season sorry for this type of climate what are the uh, uh, what are the basic characteristics of equatorial climate the high mean annual temperature about 270 degrees centigrade uniformly high temperatures are above of about 30 degrees centigrade with only a small annual range high relative humidity of about 80% abundant rainfall of 2000 mm on average double maximum rainfall around april and october each year rainfall is accompanied by thunder and lightning what countries have an equatorial climate <clears throat> based on koppen jr climate classification scheme the equatorial climate occurs mainly in northern regions of south america central africa northern australia indonesia southern india and sri lanka thailand malaysia vietnam laos myanmar philippines and all now let's discuss the last heading that is temperate grassland temperate grasslands are areas of open grassy plains yani open grassy plains hote hain that are sparsely populated with trees aur jahan zyada tar darakht paaye jate hain not that much human various names of temperate grasslands include pump pampas downs and belts temperate grassland can be found in various regions phir uh, here the question is that that where are temperate grassland found The major temperate grasslands include the plain and prairies of central North America, Great Plains of the Midwest, the Palouz Prairie, <coughs> Prairie of Eastern Washington State, and other grasslands in Southwest. Eurasian temperate grasslands are known as steppes, and they are found between the Ukraine and Russia. Now What is the average temperature in the temperate grassland? While temperature are often extreme in some grasslands, the average temperature choose are about 20 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Temperate grass tropical grasslands have dry and wet season that remains warm all the time. Temperate grasslands have cold winters and warm summers with some rain. <coughs> Now let's discuss little bit about the characteristics of temperate grasslands. The temperate grasslands are characterized as having grasses as dominant vegetation, trees and and large shrubs are absent. Temperatures vary more vary more from 
summer to winter and amount of rainfall is less in temperate grasslands than in savannas i hope you all understand this topic really well students do watch all your recorded videos which we all shared with you all and which we are sharing or inshallah in future we will share also so that you can easily understand about the chapters or topics what uh, you are reading or learning about till your next recorded class take care thank you allah hafiz